Hey, I've been busy again. Yeah, I'm working on my REA terminal, my freight terminal. Yeah, I finally got it on my layout. I built it and put it together and painted it. And yeah, I even stocked it. Yeah, it's a stocked warehouse now. Yeah, I'll show you. Well, that's my next project. Water Street Freight Terminal. But that's going to be my Railway Express Agency Terminal when I have finished. It's kind of a cool building, hey? I washed all my parts and I'm all ready to get started. I don't know if you can see the, the green poles. Those are concrete piers. And... Uh, well, the gray ones, of course, were formed with the plastic, but some of them were broke off, so I had to make my own and put them in there, so I hope they'll be okay. Got my windows in and the glass. Well, that's just about ready to put together. I've got to, I've got to choose which doors I'm going to put in because I'm going to keep a few of them open so that I can have a truck backed up and uh, on the railroad side I'm going to have some people going in and out of these doors so I think I'm just going to have maybe one of them that's going to be closed I got to decide which ones Well, I glued the walls together and glued them to the to the foundation. And then I put some white glue on the plastic there. I wanted to uh oh, put some gravel underneath the loading dock. If I get that loading dock on there, I won't be able to finish it underneath there, so that's what I did and and then I put some shades in some of the windows. Yeah. Even got a little fellow in there. Well. I have the loading dock on now. And I put some I put the stairs on the end and on this side I'm I think I'm just gonna put in the two doors and then on this side over here I'm leaving just oh the the middle one is like partially open partially closed yeah coming along I'm gonna put a a floor in there because I'm going to have a scene you know inside here and then uh, a light and I'll have a light in this one too well I bought some crates on uh, eBay yeah I buy a lot on eBay don't I but um, and that's how they came and they look okay but I decided to put some paint on them anyway and that's uh, that's what they look like after I put the paint on. Um, it's more of a sand color, and it seems to bring out the the slots, you know, in the wood better, you know, to make it look like a crate. And then I'll weather them, of course. And then and then I bought those back there, and that's the way they came. And I, and I have two boxes of other crates that are supposed to be here, but the post office has misplaced them. And there was about 50 of them. So we'll have to see what happens. I started putting in my uh, crates and stuff so that you won't see much from this side of the building because that's where the semis will be. But from this side... You'll be able to look in there and see the crates. 
So that's what I've been working on today. And I had to get those in before I put the roof on. And then I found out that I ordered the wrong lights for it. So now I'll be at a standstill again. That's shaping up. I, uh, I cut a couple of notches. I cut a little notch right there. And one on this other side for these nano lights, and then I'm I hung one if you can see it there just down like into the, from the ceiling. And I'm going to use those lights on here and see how they work out. Then I'll put a light inside here also. And I don't know, I was thinking about some more lights, but I'll have to see. Well, I decided to go with a little LED light in there for the main building. That, that, that gives me four lights in this building. I think that's enough. It'll light it up pretty good. Well, I need to do a little bit of weathering on the roof yet. Both of them. And then they'll be ready to put on the layout. This one here, this roof here, I uh, just tacked it. Just very lightly tacked it in a couple places because I need to be able to get that roof off. Just in case I have, you know, bulb issues or wiring issues because I can't get into it from the bottom because I put that floor in there and I had to raise it up, you know, in order to be even. So. So that's what I did. I made that removable. So I built this uh, little contraption. Uh, it's where the sign's going to be for my REA terminal. That's one of those Miller Engineering signs. I think that'll work out pretty good. I did have another sign same size as that. Let me see if I can grab this and turn it around. So it's like a two-sided sign, but the back doesn't light. But maybe I'll put some kind of a spotlight on it or something. I don't know. I have to think about that. But that's pretty cool there. I think that'll work out great. You know, they come with this battery pack. But... Um, when I install these, I snip these wires. Right about right about there, I'll snip it. About that far from that battery pack, and then I just save the battery packs. Because I hardwire these to the to the wiring of the layout. And uh, I have my own system down there underneath the layout that I wire this into. And then I switch just switch a switch on it and, and it uh, uh, turns all of the signs on at one time. So this is what it looks like sitting on my layout. I'm not finished with the landscaping by any means. And um, the parking lot I painted, you know, to look like blacktop for now, but I might be changing all of this blacktop to concrete. Um, I just, I wanted to start getting some buildings on my layout. So, it's either spend a lot of time now or just kind of do it later. So I thought I'd do that later. And that sign back there, you know, I spent a lot of time putting that thing together. And it worked perfect when I turned it on and now all of a sudden it won't work. So I may have to take that off and figure out what's wrong with it. But it gives you an idea what it looks like on the layout here, anyway. Here's another angle. Well, this kind of gives you an idea of what it looks like at night. You can see what's going on in those doors. I 
And this is the other side, the loading dock area. I suppose I could have put more lights in there. I have one on you know, each side of the building underneath the overhang. Is, I think I showed you that. That's what it looks like with my lumber yard in the background. Hey, I I keep surprising myself. Yeah, I I actually like the things I do. Yeah, I think uh, it came out pretty good, you know, and uh, I think I'll enjoy it. I like the lights at night. I just I have to work a little bit more with getting some some blue lights for my moon. Um, I took that without it. And, I, you know, I wanted to get this up uh, before my Christmas video. I have a Christmas video coming out now. I'll be running all the trains for that one. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this. I'll catch you on my next one. <laughs> you have a great day.